Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a custom library in MATLAB Simulink and add your own blocks into that library so that you can access them whenever you want as soon as possible. The first step is to create a folder in your computer. I created this folder MGH library in my MATLAB folder. You can create it wherever you want, doesn't matter. We are going to put some files inside this folder and we want MATLAB to always be able to reach them. So we are going to add the directory of this folder into MATLAB search list. So right click on the folder and add path, select folders and subfolders. And here from set path, make sure that this folder is already in this list, save. Sometimes you need to add your uh, admin username and password. Okay. The second step is that there is this link, which I will put it in the description of the video. Um, it's a documentation of MATLAB and it explains clearly how to create a custom library. We need this line of code and there is another link here, which I open it in another tab. And a lot of explanation, but we need this piece of code. So you right click, copy it, create an M file, paste it here. Basically, my library will appear in your uh, library browser of Simulink, and this will be the name of it. So it doesn't matter, I just change it to MGH. You can keep it, keep it the same. And then I'm going to save this file into that folder. All right, second step is done. Now what we do is that you open, uh, you open Simulink, and you click on File, New, and Library. Create a blank library. And let's say I have these two blocks and I want to add it in my own library. So I copy them and paste them. So this block is something that doesn't exist in the library browser, but this one already exists, but it doesn't matter. I want to add two of them to demonstrate. Before you save this, you go to the command window and run this line of code. Basically, this makes sure that uh, the library will be visible in library browser. And now what you do, you are going to save this library into that folder and use the name that you used in that M file. I used MGH and I used the same thing there. All right. So now if I click on library browser and if I click right click on it and refresh the library. Basically, if you come down here, here you observe that we have my library and inside my library are these blocks that I just added. It. So my library is basically what you have here and this one, the name should be exactly the same as the name of the library that you save. So I use MGH, here it should be MGH. So now if you want to create a new model, let's say, new Simulink model, you can come to the library browser and from your own library, you can use the blocks that you want. All right, so that's how you create a custom library in MATLAB Simulink. Bye.